Whether you're a student, a young professional or an artist, we can all benefit from learning how to think better. And this will help you think better than most people. Here you'll learn the basics of propositional logic, the simplest logical language. It will help you in your studies, it will help you navigate the world more easily, and it will help you find some order amongst all the Twitter shouting matches. The most basic unit in propositional logic is, unsurprisingly, the proposition. These are simple sentences about the world. The sky is blue is a proposition, as is Tim's granny is good looking, and the world will end tomorrow. There are sentences which aren't propositions. Exclamations like, oh no, and orders like, shoot that puppy, are not propositions, since they're not saying anything about the world, but serve different linguistic functions. We symbolise propositions as letters of the alphabet, like A, B, C, etc. Then we have connectives. The connectives of propositional logic are and, or, if then, and if and only if. Hello, this is Editing Joe. There is also the connective not, which are written using these symbols. The and connective is called a conjunction. The or connective is called a disjunction. The if then connective is called a conditional. And the if and only if connective is called a biconditional. Lastly, we have the negation symbol not. These connectives are used to link the propositions together. A conjunction, A and B, claims that both A and B are true. A disjunction claims that one or both of A and B are true. A conditional claims that either A is false or B is true. And a biconditional claims that if A then B and if B then A are both true. Finally, not A unsurprisingly means that A is not true. Or, as it is known to most people, A is false. So, the sentence A and B is only true if both A and B are true, and so on and so forth. We can use this language to formalise arguments in the wild. For instance, take a hot topic argument like euthanasia should be banned because the taking of a human life under any circumstances should be illegal. We can break this argument down into the two premises, if euthanasia takes a human life it should be illegal, and euthanasia takes a human life, and the conclusion euthanasia should be illegal. We can then assign the proposition euthanasia takes a human life, the letter A, and euthanasia should be illegal, the letter B. We can then formalise the argument as A implies B, A therefore B. But why do this? Well, this immediately tells you the structure of someone's argument and presents avenues for questioning. Here you could question whether the proposition A is actually true, or you might question whether A implies B is true by giving examples of when we consider taking human life to be justified. This is actually what advocates of euthanasia normally do. They question whether taking a human life should be illegal if that human life wants to be taken. Now you know why that argumentative strategy makes sense. This is the magic of formalising an argument. It shows you which parts of the argument are worth questioning and which parts are solid. In the above example, there would actually be no point questioning whether A is true because euthanasia definitely involves someone dying. So questioning whether if A then B is true is a much better strategy. Of course, this is a simple example. Sometimes you'll find that arguments have lots of premises and even might have more than one conclusion. After some practice, you'll find it easier to separate an argument out and formalise it on the go. The benefits to learning to do this are endless. Whereas most people will be struggling to make sense of the arguments going on around them, you'll be able to navigate them with ease. Thinking in this logical way also improves the level of your reasoning and can help you in your studies, your work and even your relationships. This is the true value in learning logic. While the maths and philosophy side of it is fun and can help you win arguments, it's learning to think at a deeper level that truly gets you ahead. So stick around for more on logic, philosophy and thinking better.